How are you doing, boss? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Greetings friends and family, this is Walk Right Flight joining in from Midtown Manhattan, New York City between West 33rd and West 34th Street on 9th Avenue. Greetings everybody. Greetings to you, Robert Hodgins. How you doing? I've seen you for ages. Island Girl, how's it going from Antigua? Antigua and Barbuda. Greetings to you, Diana Ahearns. I see you sent to from Belgium. Greetings to you as well, Terry T. Alfred Close, as always, the first person to join in. Greetings, everybody. So, I waited in line and picked up my shades, my clips, glasses. You know, they, they run out everywhere, so we had to purchase it. Not expensive, though. It be a dollar uh, forty. I don't know why a lot of people don't, you know, order online instead of waiting, you know, like they did yesterday for, you know, an hour, and, you know, an hour, 15 minutes, two hours. Why not just place an order online and pick it up? So I placed the order last night and I picked it up this morning, I mean, right now. I could have picked it up earlier, but, you know, I just came here and uh, picked it up. So we got it. As you can see, the North American Eclipse is happening on April 8th. H came through, my friends. It is very hard to get these now. Wherever, wherever it was free, all gone. You can only purchase them now. Some people are selling them for like five dollars each. Crazy, right? All right, we are going to be experiencing eclipse today in New York City, friends. A lot of people have been saying, you know, it might be the end of the world. I don't know about that. And it looks like life is uh, going as uh, normal as it should. Nothing different. Anyway, UNH uh, gave me a bag as well, which is awesome. I'll take it. Oh, come on. Don't play music right now. All right, friends and family. I see Kevin J. How's it going? So when comes to the world end? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Saying that, Nothing different, my friend. Life is, uh, life is going as normal. Nothing different. Greetings to you, Jessica. I see Bighorn MT Sean. How's it going, Valerie? I see Arjana Hulwalia as well. Greetings, I Rivas. I haven't seen you in ages. I see uh, Ricardo Holloway as well. Welcome back. I see Sophia. I haven't seen you for some time. Greetings to you. Yeah, I really don't understand why a lot of people don't just order online and pick it up in person, you know? Only God knows that. Yeah, exactly. Lee, how you doing, my friend? Uh, Rob, I bet people will be selling them on eBay for big bucks. Yes, but it has to be sold pretty quickly, right? It's time sensitive. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, show you the event on my camera. Oh, there's a guy selling them for like $5 each on the corner. Yeah, so you can get these uh, at b and for $1.40, which is not bad, right? Cheap. But there's a guy selling one for selling each for like five bucks. I don't know where he got the one, but he had a few hundreds. Greetings to you, Directors Lady Tucker. I see Mary I see Holly. Greetings to you, Mr. Totter Arts. Greetings. Uh, it's about to start 
soon. Yeah, so all these people are the smart people who place an order online and picking it up in person. Tell me where you gonna get them at. <laughs> this lady, this lady's selling them for right now, five bucks each. Another lady. Pretty soon, corporate girl. Yeah, there's people just waiting in line to place an order as well, or to uh, purchase in person, like yesterday. Azim, how's it going? Yeah, nature is uh, super busy today. All right, friends, I'm walking this way because Anji Dardine, how you doing? We haven't seen you for some time. How you doing? It's all good in Texas. Are you guys gonna enjoy the eclipse fully in Texas? Cynthia Ferens, how's it going? I guess you guys are not on the path, right? Only Mexico? I think only Mexico is on the path. Mexico, uh, the US, and Canada seems. Ladang, how are you doing, my friend? Ladang. Watching from Australia. Alright, I'm walking this way because I want to show you something. Can't even see anything with these. Next eclipse will be 2044. Yes, about 20 years. The last one was in 2017. I was not here. And uh, today is another one. And then the next one is going to be in 2044. That's a long time from now. But the eclipse happens, you know, about every uh, year and a half somewhere. It's not, it's not like it's a very rare type of phenomenon. If you want to, you know, you can go somewhere and experience it every couple of years. But at least for us, it's going to be a new experience or a, a rare experience. Yeah, it's getting cloudy right now, my friend. Yeah, that's a little anticlimactic. Yep. It's not looking good right now. Ladang, I don't even remember where I was. I think I was probably in California. I think I was in California that time. Maybe in California, I think so. I can't even remember. Anything prior to uh, 2020 is like all one. It's all lumped into one for me. Kevin J, how you doing? We have AD 1753 from Scotland. Greetings to you, Scotland. Thank you for joining in. I see RJ with the wire from uh, Colorado. Uh, Robert Hodgins, uh, the next one is going to be 2044, so we have to make the best of this one today. Uh, look at the New York mode of transportation. How you get around the city. Okay, I'm going to cross the street because uh, yesterday I showed you something and we didn't know what it was. We were trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, the description wasn't there, so I went home and looked it up. And you are going to be surprised by what it is. Oh, I see Sally and uh, Alex. Greetings to both of you. I also see Birmingham close him. How you doing, my friend? All right, so we had a chance to see this uh, statue, this statue yesterday, and uh, we didn't know who they were. We were trying to figure it out. We didn't see any description. 
description or anything. You guys remember this one? You guys remember this? You guys remember this one? This is supposed to be Adam and Eve. Isn't that crazy? This is like... They look like they went to Marshalls, right? They look like they went to TJ Maxx. The artist is Cheryl. Hi. Are you, is that a tripod? No, a gimbal. Okay, and is that on video record? YouTube live stream, yes. Okay, you can't live stream over here because it's a private property. Oh, and I was just looking at the statues, not a. Yeah, it's no, nothing, I nothing no, special. <laughs> no, I know, but I just don't want those guys to come up and say, what's this guy doing? And he's live streaming. So, I mean, so looking at a statue is a problem, huh? Mm -hmm. You can take pictures with the statues, that's not a problem. Uh -huh. Just live streaming, that can't happen. Okay. With these guys on site, that can't go home at all. All right. Is there like an email or something that I, uh, like a person that I can talk to or maybe just like to reach out? Because it just doesn't make sense. To get all the presentation. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like trying to go inside or anything. This is just, you know, by the statue. It's not even... Well, unfortunately, we don't have that information. We just follow by security uh, procedures. So, in other words, that would be our folks. All right. And your name is? John. Okay. John Burke, how are you doing? Greetings to you. Greetings to you on Johnny. Bighorn MD is saying South Florida will be in the path of a solar, solar eclipse in 2045. That's a long time from now. Yeah, I saw him, you know, I saw him from a distance. He came running. I saw him from a distance. Isn't that crazy? Like, looking at the statues, I'm not even, like, I'm not even, you know, anywhere. They just make up rules as they go. That's the problem. And I bet you that if I come back a couple of days later, if, if it's like, you know, somebody else, they're probably not going to care. His name is John. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Tell me about it. That's just how it is in New York. He must be, he must be from D.C., right? Yeah, he knows it doesn't make sense. He knows it doesn't make sense, you know. Nobody told him to do that. He was just trying to act like, you know, he's doing something. You know, he's still looking at me. I can see him from a distance. He's like staring at me. Yeah, you can tell he's like super uncomfortable about it. A lot of these people are uncomfortable. But the problem that I have is they pick and choose, you know. They pick and choose who, uh, Force it on. That's what I hate. Greetings, ZR two D two. No, he didn't want to be on camera. I, I purposefully, like you know, put him on camera. He did not want to be because he walked on my side. I saw him with my peripheral, peripheral vision that he was coming on the side, so that he doesn't, you know, get on camera. But then I like turn the camera. Anyway, ain't nobody got time for that. We got bigger things to worry about than life. Three amigos, how you doing? Where have you been? Three amigos, well, what's going on? Steve Joe Hernandez, how's it going? What is this? Hudson Yards Tavern, okay. Perfect. 
girl. How's it going? All right, we have arrived at West 30th Street and still on 9th Avenue. Angel Heart 1776, how are you doing? Robert Hodges, no, no, no. I was talking about three amigos, no. No, 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 I don't know who she is. I have no clue. <laughs> three amigos is saying, Rob, don't look at the sun. You know, not at all. I already got the, already got the tools. I already got the tools. We're not gonna go um, to Chelsea, but we'll just do like a little U-turn down here and you know see what's going on, see where the parties are because there's supposed to be watch parties throughout the city. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can find. Ladang is saying, uh, "Why have a statue there if people can't see it? Uh, it's making me a little upset this morning." Yeah, it's, it's very upsetting. That, that's what I'm saying. Ladang is like. These people do, do not make sense. They're not logical at all. But then, you know, it's their property. It's a private property. So what are you going to do? They're going to pull the police. And the police is probably going to tell me the same thing. So why would I waste time and resources, you know? When the police could be doing something else. I could be standing there and say, like, yeah, I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. And then they're going to pull the police. And the police are probably going to tell me the same thing. The police is probably going to think, you know, that's stupid. But it's their private property, and uh, what are we gonna do? And like I said, you know, they pretty much make up rules as they go. They choose to enforce it whenever they feel like enforcing it. I told you guys, right? A few places that uh, that have been like, you know, told not to film or anything, record. I have seen a few TikTokers just going there and having a blast. Literally having a party. It's crazy. Ed Podke, how are you doing, Ed? I was asking about you yesterday. I hope all is well. I hope all is good. Jostine is here. Greetings, Jostine. Oh my goodness, is that Aya Vlogs? Aya, how are you doing? I don't remember seeing anything from you like on my notification or anything. How are you doing? Is everything good? I haven't seen you in a while. Washington, really? I don't know. I thought I sounded like Taylor Swift. Shake, shake, shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it off. Storm Z, how's it going? We had a solar eclipse in France in 1999. That was a long time ago. Was it a good experience? We'll see what the fuss is all about. I don't know. I mean, I, I thought it would just be, you know, just another day. I've seen eclipsing you know, online or on YouTube and stuff. So I'm thinking it's just going to be another day. We'll see. I've never actually experienced it in person, you know. So uh, it'd be cool to see it. <laughs> Robert Hodges. I don't know about that. Get the for my streams. Twenty 
30 minutes uh, into the stream. The one in 2017. Nice. Were you in New York? Are you in the city? Dang, yes, I wanted to uh, start early today because of this phenomenon. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of people. Are you guys able to see what I'm seeing right now? Should I keep going? It doesn't look like uh, the connection is that great. So certified, uh, three amigos. I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping they are. I think they are. Yes, ISO. Um, yes, yeah, says uh, conforms uh, to and meets the transmission requirements of ISO 12312-2. So we're good. Brenda, how are you doing? Greetings to see you, Brenda. So there's a watch party over here. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the middle of it because connection and bueno and es no bueno. Okay, total darkness is about to show soon. Clouds, man. What are these clouds? What are these clouds all about? Look at that. side by Whole Foods. Of You're watching from Russia. Wow. We're in Russia. Moscow, St. Petersburg, Yakutia, Siberia. Really? Wow. 
what what would they benefit though from lying about that stuff like it's safe save some money greetings to you adriana rodriguez we're just walking around to find uh, the best spots best spot to experience City. Look at this. The other side of New York. Greetings to you again, Bev Ann and uh, Sally and Alex. Dr. Meng, how's it going? From Italy. No eclipse here. Thanks for sharing with us. Absolutely, my friend. Of course. Now getting to a congested area, so be patient, friends. As you can see, lots of people here. People waiting to be patient for us. Well, I mean, there's there's all these. Okay, I think this is gonna be a better one. Ah, a lot better to enjoy the eclipse than uh, drinking some coffee, you know. Watch. Ooh, I think we got the best spot, friends. We got the best spot. say my son went to Burlington, Vermont to see it. Was that the best location? I did hear uh, Niagara is also a great location. There you go, friends. That's so cool. I like I'm back in high school. Anytime, Latang, anytime, of course. Happy to. Uh, Tanya Sotelo, yes, I have these uh, supposedly ISO certified glasses, Eclipse glasses, that I picked up from BH. Uh, B &H. So hopefully they work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let, me, let me 
show you. And Robert Parker, how you doing, my friend? Uh, you saying Texas, Mexico, Arkansas, I already experienced the eclipse as it got really dark. Where's Michelle? Where's my I'm using the one and the only uh, eclipse glasses that I have to show it to you. I'm multitasking with the glasses. It's getting uh, dark in Georgia. I didn't buy glasses so I can't see. Yeah, they're giving, they're giving them out free in a lot of places. Unfortunately, you know, they'd be like, they're all out in the city at least. Uh, three amigos, yes. That would be, I believe, a Corona, right? Wouldn't it be cool to see um, the eclipse in Corona, Queens? That would be cool, right? That would make sense. Watching a Corona and Corona Queens. Celestial is saying hello. It's in Texas right now. The light has already changed. Is it, is it completely dark? Robert Parker is, is asking how long did it did you wait online to get those glasses? Uh, my friend, so I was uh, I was using my brains and I ordered online and picked it up. Uh, in person and it did not take more than like 10 minutes that was it yeah a lot of people were literally just standing in line to buy it and they were waiting for an hour and a half at least an hour so not for me I placed the order last night right before I started We got the attention of the world today, all right? Hudson Yards, friends, just FYI. This is the Hudson Yards, one of the newest developments here in New York City. Very expensive development at that. Here you'll find a lot of office buildings, apartment buildings, hotels, shops, high end shops, that is.
slowly, very, very slowly. Robert Parker saying, too bad Action Kid missed out on this event as he is in Vietnam. But I told a couple of YouTube, YouTube bloggers uh, not to give up as they clip slowly moving to the horn. I think traveling is better, my friends. I think traveling, seeing new cultures and cities and experiences is probably a lot better than. And he has done, you know, a lot of uh, events in New York, so <laughs> it's good that you know he's somewhere else. He needs a break from New York. Uh, Bevan is saying uh, saw a total eclipse in North Carolina, 1970. I was in high school, so 2017 eclipse also North Carolina. Nice. So we pretty much have the same events then. These like natural events, disasters and everything. Pretty much, you know, along the eastern, southeastern part of the U.S. Pretty much the same. Gustavo Sierra, how are you doing my friend? Blessings to you as well, Gustavo. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in. As you can see, everybody's taking a break today from work, you know, from school, from whatever they're doing, chilling, you know, enjoying the sun. here at the Hudson Yards. Everybody's chilling, having a good time. It's a good day. It's a good day. I see Shaquille as well. Greetings to Shaquille. I almost want to call you Shaquille. It's pretty good. You guys have better glasses. Where'd you get them? Where'd you get them? Oh, this place. Oh, they took the museum. Oh, yes, yes, yes. down there. Nice. They look cool. Adriana Gatia. I don't know what you uh, what you wrote. Uh, I don't read, I don't read Spanish, but I see muy bonito. I mean, it's good, right? Beautiful. Paul Singh, how you doing, my friend? Paul Singh is watching from New York. I know it's so funny, there's also a good number of people who just don't care. They're like, eh, we don't care. Uh, let's see. Jornandez, welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, my friend Lee, it does it does say that it's ISO certified, like you said, you know, we never know. Just like organic, you know, it's not 100% organic. It's about 70, 80% organic, so this might be like 80% ISO, <laughs> who knows. Hazem is saying we don't have eclipse uh, here in Egypt. But my friend, in Egypt you have shawarma, you have delicious shawarma, you have, uh, uh, what is that friend, uh, there's, that, there's that food my friend, uh, the green one, melukhiya, melukhiya, you have lots of delicious things in Egypt, you might not have a solar eclipse, but my friend, you have hoops, you have a lot of delicious things. I see OT Sings has joined in as well. Greetings to you, OT Sings. Thank you so much, Paul Sings. Sasri Kalji. It's going to be completely dark soon.
that's happening in Carbondale, Illinois. Is that like uh, in the north? The north, uh, the northern part of Illinois, maybe, or south? Saying, Rob, I always thought if something said it was okay, it was. It is only when you work up for certain companies you see the real truth, right? And or when you dig in, when you start researching, when you start, you know, doing your homework, yep. you find different, different information, different truths. Uh, Three of me ghosts is saying uh, it just hit Illinois now here in Indiana in three minutes. Probably gonna hit us in about 30 minutes, maybe 40. Adriana Rodriguez is saying many people got married during the total eclipse in the dark. Really? Yeah, some people have some type of like infatuation, some type of uh, superstition with solar eclipse. Yeah, like it's just another day, homie. It's just another day. How you doing? The daylight is the same in Seattle. You guys are gonna get uh, like what percentage? What percentages are gonna be in Seattle? Manny is saying I'm here in California. I'm jealous. What part of California, Manny? says that the temperature dropped. Uh, they are 50% coverage in Vermont. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Ricardo, yes. They're really dark. They're kind of like shiny. They look like aluminum foil on the other side, on this side, and then just completely dark on this side. Interesting, right? You get an eclipse. Not you, England. Both these things, yes, they're pretty cool. Uh, they got the North American eclipse for 8-20-24. As you can see, pretty cool. Makes me look cool, you know. They call they call the North American eclipse. They just gave it a name. Pretty cool though. OT Sinks is saying it's nighttime here. What time is it in England right now? 
you guys are what five hours ahead so uh, like almost eight saying does anyone have the list of countries that would be seeing this eclipse of the sun I think just uh, Mexico US and uh, Canada I believe Lorraine is saying in the Netherlands it's 2106 that's what 9 p.m. 906 oh yeah you guys are an hour ahead of uh, London Mark Holden how are you doing Lady Tucker is saying our sun was earlier in Michigan, but it is very gray right now. Yeah, it's getting dark over here too. Oh my goodness, it's our time. Finally, we might be able to see the eclipse. What we've been waiting for. is for you guys I'm not gonna be looking at the I'm not gonna be looking at the Sun okay I'm just gonna be looking at my screen right now I gotta protect my eyes I wish I had two but I only have one so Yes, I bought a pair from b &H. I bought it online and picked it up. Darkness is covering the Indiana. Feels like the, the center of it.
people, you know, who are uh, trying to scare us at the, the end of the world. Doomsday. Oh my goodness. Uh, G Dardine absolutely went. Now, G, you are in Texas, right? You should be the one streaming for us. Right, Angie? Or are you back to Europe? I feel like you and uh, Michelle from Texas and Willie Ford, you, you guys should be the ones uh, streaming for us because over here we're only getting like 70%. Or, I mean, no, not 70%, almost 90%. You guys are getting 100%. When is the next uh, eclipse for you guys in Argentina? But you guys had uh, you guys had an eclipse recently, right? You guys elected Mieli, <laughs> Javier Mieli. That's an eclipse. It's a big change, right? Pilots, you know, to, to make a U-turn to go back, go back to Texas. Tess is saying thanks for sharing. 90% here in New York City. Yes. You know, and lucky people. Some lucky people have been able to go up the Hudson Yards up there at the observation tower at the edge to see the phenomenon. Some people went to. Uh, Summit One Vanderbilt and tickets, tickets for those observation towers. All the observations, observation towers in New York are sold now. Man, people paying $60, $70 just to go inside, you know, just to look at the same thing that we're looking at. Adrian, I believe like a total eclipse happens pretty much every year and a half. People make it seem like, you know, it will never happen again. It just it's not going to happen for us anytime soon. That's the difference. and family looks like we're getting to the real part the real episode of the eclipse here in new york city it looks like the moon is slowly creeping in covering the sun and about maybe 20 to 30 minutes we might see a spectacular event sherry g is in atlanta so you're you're Pretty much experiencing the same thing that we are, maybe close enough. For a girl to say, Rob, I had to Google. <laughs> I figured, but I'm saying, like, you actually took the time to look into it. Of course, yeah, of course, of course, you did. Nobody's gonna know that, you know, without researching. But I just never even cared. I'm like, eh. I didn't find it to be captivating, so. Look at the difference. That's the difference right now. This guy's just like randomly screaming. Oh, 
No way, the dang. No way, that's funny. The glass are covering your lens. Should be a great Tuesday. Nice, that's funny. Oh, Diana, you're in Rochester, New York. You should be experiencing it, right? DTUK is here. Greetings to you, DTUK, all the way from the UK. Where is Darrell, man? Where is Neil Bell? Dang, let me know what your cat is doing. Three amigos next to clips says 2044. Fewer landfalls. There you go. Rainy Z from Bronx. You're right here. Bronx got some good uh, cheap foods, cheap eats. worth of food in the Bronx. Oh, uh, Lady Tucker is saying it looks about 9 p.m. What? It's already dark. That dark. Okay. It's about time. It looks like it's getting closer. It's overcast, I see. Then, uh, so yeah, like over here, it's about the same. Maybe not as much as Alive and alive so far. Admiring nature from a distance. That's what the sun looks like right now from a distance. But when you investigate, when you look at it very closely, Deborah Whitman, how's it going? Are you related to uh, Meg Whitman? Are you guys related? It's getting. 
Greg Spouse saying Rob looks like a Marvel sci-fi movie. Wait, wait till you see my uh my lap. Yes, it's getting dark and it has like a weird vibe, dude. This is what it looks like right now over here. Deborah is saying no relation. I was just joking. Are you, are you serious? It's already dark in Florida? Look at the difference now. Remember like you know, a couple of minutes ago? A couple of minutes ago, we were able to see everything at least as clearly as possible. Right now, nothing. Liver and onions is saying vampires are lucky now. <laughs> it's dark in Syracuse, Syracuse, New Jersey.
somebody from uh, Serbia. That's cool. Mirjana Vucic. Syracuse looks better in the dark anyway. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. New Jersey looks better in the dark, huh? Ladin, you're right. These guys are playing tennis. They don't even, they're, they're not even paying attention. They're like, eh, just another day. Uh, Jung Kim, yes, it is. That's the highlight. You're right. Correct. Ooh, the birds are going to bed. I've had a same partial eclipse in effect now in North Carolina, but I don't have the glasses to view 80%. Yeah, it's better to just look at it. It's a weird vibe right now. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I could do that, but uh, I'm gonna lose some time. That's, that's why. I, mean, I, I, I got your point. But right now, this is all I can work with to save time, because anything can happen in the next few minutes. You gotta stay on guard. Uh, Adriana, yes, it's getting darker. Like it's a weird type of dark. It's a weird type of dark. And nicer. I don't know when you visited uh, New York last, but uh, yeah, it's, it's looking better and better. Jasmine. Ah, for those not able to get glasses, you're right. You're right. They do that. Ooh, there's a helicopter on top of us. Kamel Goletti, marhaba, marhaba. Chelsea Market. Yeah, we can. Maybe afterwards. After experiencing this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Joe Hernandez is saying I'm getting an urge now to watch Christmas movies. Oh, just 
is here. Welcome, welcome to Skate. Thank you for joining in. What made you think of Christmas movies? I guess he's feeling a little cozy right now. Anji Dardine is saying really looks uh, nighttime right now. Is it nighttime? In, uh, in Texas? I guess we're gonna have that experience pretty soon. Oh, we have somebody from Japan. Thank you for joining in. We don't have that many people from Japan, so thank you, thank you for joining in. Arigato gozaimasu. Greg Spell, I think uh, our good friend Corvette Girl might give you a whole uh, history and detail about that one, that art. Japan has Godzilla's to deal with, exactly. They have Godzilla's popping out of buildings. There's a building in, uh, in, in Japan, in Tokyo, that has a big uh, structure of Godzilla. I think it's in Shinjuku. Raining in the UK, of course. Of course, it's always raining in the UK. It'll always be raining. Kangaroo Express, thank you so much for the support, my friend. Very thoughtful. Thank you so much to Kangaroo Express. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, you know what, actually, Jasmine? Um, if you guys experience eclipse in, 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 in the UK, I feel like you know it's gonna rain and it's gonna be cloudy. And experience it. Did I say Kangaroo Express? Kangaroo Explorers? Is it Express or Explorers? I can't even. Kangaroo Express. Okay. That's what I thought. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm like barely looking at the screen, barely looking at anything right now, so I should make sure. It is super, super weird vibe over here. Temperature like, or I mean the, the, the brightness is kind of weird. We have Rashmir. Okay, we're gonna be on the corner. We've got the, we've got the best spot. But dang, look at that. Those guys don't have no care in the world. They're like, we're just gonna play tennis. That's what that matter. That's what matters. Oh, they say half past seven. I say half past seven, half past six. That's how they say it. Greetings to you, human hysteria. Alright friends, so we are by the high line right now. Scenery. Jasmine, yeah, kinda 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 feels weird, I'm not gonna lie. It kinda feels weird to be honest. Like the brightness and everything is just a bit weird. Oh Ledang, I think this place is so that place used to be owned or it was rented by American Express at some point and then Chase Sapphire Reserve at some point. So right now I don't know who owns it or who's renting it. But yeah, so you would need like a specific type of membership or a card or something to get in and uh, play. It's not open to everybody. And you have to make an appointment, I believe. Zaza, my man, how are you doing? Zaza, no, it hasn't happened yet. 
but it's in the process. It's in the process of happening. Nothing, nothing spectacular yet. Saying I'm always feeling weird, so I'm just sitting back with Corin. <laughs> always? Lee, my friend Lee, are you watching? So technically it says do not use after three years. Apparently you're supposed to uh, you're supposed to discard it after a couple of years. best not to see it actually not to look at it that's not it's not good it's not good for the eyes this is what it looks like New York City is experiencing solar eclipse on April 8th for 2024 Lee is saying we're right in the UK over the past few months so we have had nothing but wind and rain. Are you uh, are you in London? I think you're in London, right? Yeah man, London vibes is like yeah, I think if you wanna if you wanna experience solar eclipse, I think you might want to go to London in the winter. Alright? The sun literally goes out for like a couple of minutes. Maybe an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, say hello to everybody and just goes back in. By 4 p.m., it's complete darkness. All right? Oh, Jordan Andes, don't say that. Now you're going to make me think about gelato. You know, you know the last time I had gelato? Last time I had gelato was uh, I don't I don't even remember, man. It's been a long time. So you're gonna make me think about ice cream right now, the gelato. Joe's saying I'm getting hungry for ice cream and big bowls. It could be the eclipse, or I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, you're not. So that was it. Are we done? Was that it? Is that it for us? Saying you're not done, Rob. 
I'm still partial. Don't look at sun. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Because, you know, everybody kind of got up and left. Everybody, you know, that was lined up over here kind of got up and left. So I'm like, do they know something I don't know? Yeah, I remember like, you know, a few minutes ago, there were a lot of people over here. A few dozen people. Right now, nobody's here. Pretty much only a couple of people. Everybody's gone. saying why is it this much sunny there um i'm hoping it's gonna get darker than this at some point oh my ride is here friends all right i gotta go i gotta go home friends these two of my rides are here joe is that your ride Right is here. I have to go. Gotta get some coffee. They're waiting for me right now. An Optim Opta Optometrist stream. Still, Zaza, it would be nice if I could, you know, go back and forth on, on a helicopter, you know, like those uh, top CEOs and CFOs in New York, the hedge funds and the banks. They live in like Westchester County, Scarsdale, New York. They go back and forth on, on a helicopter. They live in like parts of uh, New Jersey, you know, Franklin Lakes, all those really nice neighborhoods. And they just get on a helicopter, get to New York, get things done, and get out. They are not waiting for the train. They ain't waiting for the one train, like on the R train, like the rest of us. Director's Lady Tucker. Anytime. Just Kate is saying, Rob, you have canceled the stretch limo. The stretch limo, yes. I'm, yeah, I don't like that service anymore. That service is not working for me. You know, the, the standards, you know, the quality, the luxury was not up, up to my standards. So I chose to take the train. I might as well, right? OT is saying this chill out is so cool indeed. And uh, the location is great, as you can see. Catherine, that is an art. If you want to know about that art, you might want to talk to Greg and the corporate girl. They got they, they got the whole detail on that art. People would pay a lot of money to eye doctors if they looked at the sun. Yes, today is not the day to look at the sun. Oh. Look at all these buildings, man. So nice. That's the edge right there, friends and family, by the way. That is one of the best observation towers in the city. You can see there's a lot of people there. If you look at the glass right there, right in the middle, in the center, you can see people just walking back and forth. 
and right next to it is the Pendry Hotel, one of the nicest hotels in this neighborhood in the Hudson Yards. No, not Hudson Yards, uh, Manhattan West, right next to the Hudson Yards. It's one of the newest developments in the city. Shades of Grey. Looks like some New Yorkers have had it, have had to, uh, or had a chance to enjoy it twice, 2017, and some people, you know, starting 2011, 2011, 2017, and now 2024. That's a UPS truck right there, and right in front of it is a, a delivery truck. Jun Kyung Kim. Thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. So did you guys know uh, about two and a half million packages are delivered to New York City every single day? Two and a half million packages, about two and a half million packages are delivered every day to New York City. Who is doing the ordering? Who is ordering what? Two and a half million? Isn't that crazy? Two and a half million packages every day. I mean, I understand, you know, restaurants, you know, they have to order their supplies, supermarkets, you know. That I get. I get. That I get. But, for individuals, for residential, for residential units, who is doing the ordering? Who is ordering what? Okay, let's go to the other location. How you doing? Let's go to the other location. Oh, it's got the nice glasses. Yes, Amazon, right? Amazon, probably people just ordering 20 items a day. Got another location here. We are on West 31st Street. And 10th Avenue. Just FYI. Yes, Jackie, you're right. There's some people ordering medications as well. That is correct. Those who are not able to uh, pick it up in person. That I get. But still. Two and a half million? That's just crazy. And you know, you have some people who just, you know, order, you know, a piece of gum, you know, from Amazon, you know, a little shampoo from Target. I know a couple of people who used to order stuff that they could just literally get from CVS easily at about the same price. Or Target or Whole Foods, and they're like, ah, I don't got time. Nilda Macedo Macedo Paulino Range. All right, we're just chilling right now, we're just having a good time. We're just looking at New York, New York being New York, and you know, rush hour. Rush hour is gonna start in about 30 40 minutes city this part of town is gonna be super super crowded thank you so much Catherine you're always awesome you're always thoughtful I believe you Same, Robin, the UK majority of people order clothes online and then send them back. I think they use them for their Instagram. Yes, there's that too. Yeah. So much work. Peace and love. What in the world is going on today? I'm seeing people that I have not seen in ages and millennia. Greetings to you, peace and love. Nice seeing you. I've seen a few people today that I've not seen for ages. All right, let's look at the sun. Let's see what the sun is doing. Oh, okay. We 
guess we gotta move. Texas me and my daughter witnessed it on our back porch. Nice. That's nice, right? Walk northeast to follow the eclipse. Definitely. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be changing position as often as I possibly can so I can bring you a good experience. Dad Hechevera. Is that right? Well, that's the best way to experience it from a porch. Oh, I bet you yeah, have people who live in these like high rise buildings in New York. They're probably just seeing it from their bedrooms or something. adjust it for you guys at the right position. Taking some time. Just taking some time. Mighty bull. What's going on? Ah, oh, I 
I missed a big fluffy dog. Looking at the sun. Gotham City, Gotham, Gotham City. Always Gotham City. New York is always Gotham. Almost there, Catherine. We're almost there. Deborah Whitman is a mysterious and spooky indeed. Oh, did I see Tanya Sotelo today? What's going on again? Oh, I'm not seeing a uh, kind of glory either. How frightening Lucifer time. It's funny how some people just go with these stories and like you know try to scare us. Hurst, greetings to you. OT sinks, what are you eating today? Huh? It's almost done, yeah. yeah. I thought it was so many pictures the tower. Oh nice. This is almost done. Yeah, I think it's gonna end like in 20 minutes maybe. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mighty Bull. Always on point.
Gabriel. You are very welcome. Sings is saying I ordered today dragon sweet sour chicken with vegetables. Nice. Is that halal? Sally and Alex saying wow Eclipse. Uh, thanks uh, for the new for New York City live streams, Mr. Robert. Anytime, my friend. We have California tours on our channel. Nice Australian parakeet stars. Let's go. Took a lot of good pictures, huh? Sally, Sally is saying you're celebrating, you're celebrating Easter. Oh, uh, like a Orthodox Easter.
looks like the sun is just uh, going away. So let's go. Let's go to the other side. Let's go. I need a chef. <laughs> you can be a chef, my friend. You just gotta watch. You just gotta watch the Food Network on YouTube or somewhere. So let's change locations. Find something interesting. Catherine McKay. Look at these. Look at these flowers. Look at these blossoms. This is part of the High Line. Jung Kim John. I forgot the name already. Last name Kim from uh, South Korea. Jun Kim? The clouds blocking the view, indeed. So connection is gonna be a little spotty over here. So just bear with me. For some reason, like right here is not great. Jackie's saying it's a beautiful around this area. Indeed. Very nice. And a lot of celebrities have uh, homes in this neighborhood. In this neighborhood. A lot of architects, a lot of famous people, including Ariana Grande. A few people have uh, properties in the neighborhood. It's very nice. It's beautiful. Very, very expensive. Apartments are like millions and millions of dollars. Renting is not cheap either. Lauren Peters, you have a good one. You're leaving early. Yeah, this is like one of uh, the newest developments in the. It's going through a major change, shift what it used to look like. So yeah. So it's very desirable. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to find another location because the connection over here is not great. Are you guys able to see the video properly? It looks spotty on my end. Marina Thompson, how's it going? Some of you guys are like obsessed with this art, so you might as well take a look at it. All right, I'm gonna walk away. I'm walking away. Remember that song? When we were little kids, we didn't know what he was walking away from. It's better. A lot of these are apartment buildings here. A good amount of them are office buildings as well. And uh, Jackie, so yeah, if you come to New York City, this would be like a great area to um, stay in and also to explore. It's becoming really, really, really modern. Uh, 
that's funny. You're gonna let you're gonna let your cats, your pets enjoy, enjoy some views from New York. That's awesome. Yeah, have a good day, man. Thank you for joining in. Early in Australia. Ladang, I think you might know this. Uh, you might know this already, but I'm gonna tell you a random fact from Australia. Did you know that a lot of a lot of the koala bears in Australia they suffer from chlamydia? One of one of the diseases that severely affects koala bears in Australia is chlamydia. Did you know that? Chlamydia, pneumonia. I think it's called Nimono Kulo something, Chlamydia, the full name, but that's crazy, right? Okay, so we're, we're pretty much done then. I think we're pretty much done, right? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get going. We're gonna we're gonna move around and you know see maybe a little you know some parts of uh, Chelsea and then head back up. Karina Thompson, yes, that is that is correct. Koala bears are affected by chlamydia. I'm telling you, man, when you start learning about animals and things in Australia, you're like, no wonder a lot of people don't go there and explore, you know? You just gotta stay in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, you know, drink your coffee, enjoy the scenery, and that's it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they suffer. Suffer severely from chlamydia. Uh, Koala bears, yep, yeah, are affected by chlamydia. Crazy. It is crazy, right? And what's even crazy is that uh, the highest rates of chlamydia in the world, not in the world, in the world, but uh, in the developed world, is in the Nordic country. Oh, this guy. He almost killed you, girl. Yeah, the highest rates of chlamydia in the developed world is in like in Denmark, Sweden, Finland. But yeah, koala bears suffer from chlamydia as well. Okay. They are impacted by it. It's crazy. Lee, uh, yes, Australia, man, the more I learn about Australia, there was a time where I was just literally just learning about Australia, left and right. And then I said, Lord Jesus, I don't know if I want to go to Australia. I was like, oh no, it don't sound good at all. I'm just going to look at Australia from a distance. What car is this? Do you guys know what brand this is? Oh man, there's a lot of random facts about Australia, friends. But anyway, for a second, I wanna know what this, uh, what this car brand is. Does anybody know? What's KW? It has to be from Korea or from Japan? No, probably not in Japan. What is this brand of car or vehicle? Truck. All right, I think we're done. I think we're done with the clips. 
back to normal life, okay? I'll tell, I'm telling you guys, some of these random facts from Australia will blow your mind. They got animals that you do not even think exist. And the type of animals and the type of birds they have, all oh, the things they do. Woo! Yeah, it looks like a Japanese, maybe a Korean. I'm leaning towards a, you know, Korea. But you're right, it could be Japan. The way it's designed, I've never seen that before. Kenworth? Is that what it is? Alright, connection is not great because I'm in between buildings. And my cheap T-Mobile is not. My cheap T-Mobile is not moving well. All right, these guys are trying to pass each other. I'm walking this way because I'm seeing a really nice car. you something here that's Bluestone Lane that's an Australian cafe you can find them you can find them all over New York Kenworth is that what it is oh, I, I don't know I didn't know about it I don't I don't really look into uh, trucks like that I know Mac I mean Mac is you know Mac is just as American as it can be as it can get they all got a New Jersey license please. That's a fact that I know. No Bluestone Lane in Australia? Are you kidding me? So they're just scamming us then? Selling us some uh, Australian cafe that does not even exist in Australia? All right, friends, so I was recording here. I was standing here, you know, looking at Adam and Eve. And the person said, oh no, this is a private property. You can't record here. The security guy came out and said, oh, you can't record here. Ah, I see. So you don't, you don't have Bluestone Lane in Australia, but they uh, are telling us, you know, it's from Australia, kind of like, uh, that place Outback Steakhouse you guys know about that one right they keep saying you know they they uh, they said it's from Australia and they like make ads you know with Australians with an Australian accent it turns out they don't have Outback Steakhouse in Australia it's an American company that's good to know learn something new today that's cool. All right, friends, now we're back to regular life. That was it. The eclipse happened. Life goes on as normal. Nothing, nothing different. Back to regular life. We spent a dollar, a dollar fifty on this. Just to see the 
glimpse of the sun. That was it. I want to talk to the people that said, you know, the world is going to end on April 8th. Be prepared. The National Guard is coming. Buy your food. World is done. Nope. Ain't nothing done. Corvette girl is Googling a lot today. Thank you so much. Information is key. Deborah Whitman is saying, Rob, are they cleaning up the streets on your last a few streams? I haven't seen a lot of garbage. Uh, some parts, yeah, are getting cleaned often. They're trying to keep it clean because, you know, some parts are highly exposed <laughs> to, to uh, tourism. So yeah, they're trying to keep up, but... It's not the same in every part of the city, unfortunately. But I think they're, you know, they're doing their best, their, their best to catch up, you know? To make it pretty much uni uniform in, in, you know, every part of the city, you know? desktop today nice so yeah one of the ways uh, you can get from uh, New York to different cities on the on the northeast in the northeast is taking either Greyhound or Flexbus or one of you know one of these uh, budget transportation companies and one of them is this one right here Sometimes you can get a ticket to uh, DC for like 20 bucks, 50 bucks, sometimes 12 bucks, you know, Philly, Boston, you name it. But the problem is you're going to be on the highway, which could take ages, forever. Yeah, good, good observation, Deborah observation you're right they're doing their best to keep at least you know this uh, main part of the city the nucleus of the city as clean as possible we are right in front of the Madison Square Garden right here this is where all the concerts were for the big events happen in the city, all the Ready. games, Ready. that's where, where it all takes place. OT is saying it's going to Manchester on July on the Flex bus, nice! They are better mega bus, better mega bus, it's affordable indeed. Yeah, what, one thing that I don't like about the buses is if there's a lot of traffic, then you get stuck. Shut up, take one! the freeway and uh, that's it. Bro, blow your heart out. Shut up. You're done, you know. Uh-uh. The guy's arguing with himself. You gotta be really careful in New York. Everything could seem normal. One second and the next second. Everything could go south. All right, right now we are on West 31st Street and 8th Avenue. Just that one. Greetings, our John. I do see graffiti. Yes, graffiti is pretty common in the city. Did you know that there's a graffiti po uh, police in the city, specifically an NYPD unit specifically dedicated to uh, graffiti? And if you're caught doing graffiti, you are in trouble. You're in trouble. You could get in trouble very, very easily.
like other things in New York City when it comes to graffiti. And there's a unit that literally cleans up graffiti. So yeah, graffiti is a big problem. Adriana Rodriguez, yes, this part of town is very sketch. Very, very sketch. It could look normal, you know, the person standing next to you could just look normal, you know? Everything could look fine, and then all of a sudden, in a few seconds, they could just start, you know, screaming and eating your hearts out, you know? Tear you apart. Never know. Just gotta be careful. Big fine, yes, not only fine, I mean, you could be in prison. You could be sent to jail. If you guys want to see something funny, uh, go and look up uh, the NYPD dance unit. They have a dance unit. NYPD has a dance unit. Look it up on Google, YouTube, something like that. 10%, 10%, I'm talking about 10%. Yeah. Thank you. 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 I think Joe Hernandez, you're probably going to like it. You're probably going to enjoy it. Look at the dance team, the dance squad of NYPD. Hilarious. How's that Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? It's on Broadway. Yeah, like they have a dance unit, like a dance squad. Yep, they do. Look it up. Oh, we got a new apartment building right across the street. Studio, one, two bedroom condos. Interesting. We have a new apartment building. Yes, to have a dance unit. And just, just go and Google it. I'm not even gonna describe it for you guys because I want you to see what it looks like. It's hilarious. Look at the dance unit or the dance squad of NYPD. It is funny. It is hilarious. Just look at them. Just look at just just look at their dance moves and everything. It's just you think of NYPD and you look at that. It's like all right, friends. One of the best places. Um, so OT sings. One of the best places to get some West African food is this place right here, BND Halal. Uh, it's a buffet. They got all kinds of food. It is pretty good and have uh, a couple of locations in Midtown. And they're open pretty much 24, 24 hours a day. They're open 24 hours a day. Did you guys see it? Ooh, anybody from Puerto Rico? This is 787 Coffee. Good coffee from Puerto Rico, Marlene. I have not seen Marlene in ages. Marlene, I have not seen her in ages. I hope you're doing all right. It's NYPD Dance Squad. Dance unit. That's hilarious. So back in the day when I first moved to New York, I used to see a lot of these stores in New York. A lot of these uh, fur fur coat stores. Nowadays, I don't see that many. I only see like a couple here and there. You know. But yeah, you can get like an Ushanka hat. All these like fur stuff. There used to be lots of them. Especially in this neighborhood. No, not so much. I don't even know if they're if it's real far. But yeah, back in that day it was pretty common. When you see old old women, you know, going through different racks and just picking and buying. Yes, all these things. That place got some good food. You know, you pay per weight. It's uh, it's a buffet. You, you know, you pay per weight, but they got good options. They got. We gotta go to church. 
church today. The church is open. The church is open. Is Sam Dabish? Sam Dabish? Is Sam Dabish here today? I'm gonna take you inside this church if possible. If they're not gonna kick us out. R2D2. Yes, it's a dance. Oh, I see Ghostbusters Media. How's it going? Guten Abend. From Germany. Guten Tag. Is that a chinchilla? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that place and like that whole neighborhood. That, I mean, not neighborhood. Like this whole street used to be all fur coat stores back in the day. I remember coming here and I used to see like, see there's one right there, right across the street. Not so much these days. How you doing? Let's go inside. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No.
experience, right? Friends, that was beautiful. That was very, very awesome. That was beautiful. Great experience. I hope you guys had, I hope you guys had a good experience as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and record a video here, okay, for some shorts, and I'm also going to take a few pictures for our members. I'm going to do that. I think this is a good experience, I mean, good uh, opportunity because, you know, these churches, they usually close for most of the week. So I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure that you know, I capture this moment. Jeez, these kids are like screaming behind me. So anyway, you know, it's not for everybody, but you know, whoever enjoys it, enjoys it. Whoever finds it peaceful, does find it peaceful. You know, to each their own. Just Kate, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Deborah as well. Just Kate, uh, Adriana Rodriguez, Angie Dardeen, Dan K. I saw that you said, you know, my German is good. It's all right, right? Ghostbusters Media, you're right. Go to Naben for you. Go to Talk for us. Different timing. Cynthia Ferens, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Joe Hernandez. Mighty Ball. All these things. You know, it's just a different experience. We do our best to cover as many as many parts of the cities as the city as possible. I don't want to be too loud. That's why I'm whispering. But in any case, um, I want to take the time to say thank you. Thank you to all of you for joining in. I know it's like really, really early in the day, you know, for, for our regular streams compared to our regular streams. I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you for being here. I also want to say thank you to the Moz, Joe, and Valerie. Thank you, Valerie Wood. Thank you so much. You know, Stereo, OT Sings, uh, Ghostbusters Media. Anji Dardin, Dan K, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Mighty Bull, Mir Asad Alam, Deborah Whitman. Thank you, thank you so much to all of you. Thank you for being here. Karina Thompson, Cynthia Ferenc, Rosie Bennett, uh, Lyra Foran, Jess Kate, Lee, Birmingham Close Up, Catherine McKay. Thank you so much for joining in. OT, my man. Sally and Alex as well from California, Ladang. Thank you to all of you. I think we had a lot of fun today. We got to uh, discuss a lot of things. Enjoy our time together. So I hope you guys had a good time as well. Thank you, Hazim. Thank you for joining in all the way from Egypt. Rob Suka. I hope you guys had a chance to look at the dance squad. Peace and love. Thank you for joining in. Jackie Smith all the way to Atlanta. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Three amigos. Thank you for being here as well. Corporate girl. Sabi Soto. Tanya Sotelo. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to be, uh, we're going to meet up soon, okay? Don't forget to uh, like and share. Sami Sami. Uh, TL. Thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Don't forget to like and share. It makes a huge difference for the channel. All right. Thank you. Thank you, friends and family. Take care. Stay healthy. Stay well. Have a good one, Lady Tucker. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good one, Teddy D. Oh, Maria Schultz. I'm just seeing you right now. Thank you for joining in as well. Evaristo Green. Now King. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You guys are awesome. Take care, friends. Have a good one, Karina Thompson. I'm going to have a lot of videos.
videos and pictures for you guys.